marketers, in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to use one of our awesome automated templates for dashboards and reports. Um, and the way you do that is, let's say you found Factivate, you've clicked on templates up here. This will take you to our spreadsheet marketplace. And after looking through all these kind of screenshots, what I decided is I really like this sort of layout, right? So I'm just going to click on learn more. Uh, get a little bit more of a description on the template. Uh, we can see there's additional screenshots of the data here, what it can look like. Um, there's a video down here. Uh, I see some more information and what I really want to see is the actual template. All right. So uh, this is in the cloud. This isn't a Excel template. This isn't a Google Sheet spreadsheet template. It's actually a business intelligence template. Uh, the reason why we say that is we're, we're capable of connecting and managing millions and millions of data points. So in this case, uh, I'm just going to walk through it. So each template has uh, unique views depending on the user. Uh, and we see in the tabs below, uh, this is an executive dashboard, very high level information, right? We have some sample data here that will be replaced uh, once I connect my account. There's some campaign notes and pretty, pretty simple view uh, of your overall activity for Facebook and Instagram. Um, let's say I want to change uh, the date, right? Um, when I start using it, all I have to do is click on whatever is in blue and I can change it. Anything that's not in blue uh, is a reference or an automated formula. So I would suggest not to do it. So let's move on. Uh, I'm not an executive. Uh, what I really care about is the ad performance. So there's a tab for the ad manager as well. Uh, this has a lot more information. Um, and I'm going to try to break it down. Uh, you know, this is a, it looks like it's a week over week report or last seven days versus last 14 days. Um, we have some high level information for Facebook, high level information for Instagram. This is great. I love this. Uh, any sort of ad manager that uses this continuously will likely impress a lot of people. Um, then I go into, you know, my best performing ads based on engagement, whether it's shared, like comments, there's some trending data here. Um, for a number of days and then there are all of my ads uh, that I've published um, unique ads right so if you have 10 different campaigns with the same ad name only one will show up so make sure your ad names are unique uh, and and then all of them will show up so uh, this is all for Facebook uh, we've added the top 30 ads if you want more um, simply just copy and paste formulas down. You can see that there are a number of KPIs that we are looking into. Um, and then as we scroll right, uh, we get into all of my Instagram ads. So we broke it down by platform. If you want a template that doesn't do that, uh, we, we will likely uh, refer you to a different template. Um, but that's it. So I see that there's a post weekly report tab as well that's great because I also do a lot of Facebook posts and uh, it takes me a while to come up with this information so this obviously writes them all down it looks at a time period that I set here uh, and just to note there are some calculated metrics that Facebook doesn't report uh, we're adding them as like click-through rate um, if you want to look at the performance of those reports uh, usually we we'll look at this level of engagement and click-through rate we don't we consider engaged users but uh, it just depends on what your you know what your goals are so I uh, if we scroll down we see all this is blank right? and there's a reason for that the the template hasn't been connected right so uh, for this to automatically start filling up with data I have to decide to get the file so what do I do uh, I'm gonna I like the template I like what it does and uh, I'm gonna click on get file so I have to create an account so when you add your information, uh, you're going to get to something like this. Uh, you select the template and this screen will pop up. So all you have to do now is connect your accounts. And it's actually really simple. The first thing to do, uh, I'm just going to follow instructions, click the connect buttons below. So I want to connect page insights with one of my accounts, right? Click OK. I see that the little spinner is going. There's a little you know, progress bar here, estimated time, five minutes. And it's going to keep spinning until it pulls the data. Now I want to connect my Facebook ads account because uh, 
I want it to pull information. See the page information already pulled. Uh, I'm going to click on that and it's going to restart the progress bar. And then there's some demographic data here for Facebook ads. So I'm going to select the same account, click on it. And now we have a progress bar here. Now, a thing to note is this estimated time less than five minutes, it depends on the amount of data that we're going to pull, right? The open file is enabled because I've already connected one of these accounts so I can see my file. Um, but at this point, the uh, what I really care about is Facebook ads. So I'm gonna wait for this to finish syncing. I could go into my file so I can click on open file, but obviously everything is in zero until those things finish syncing and you can view it again by clicking on file connectors and it's still going, right? Uh, so uh, I've known my data, I've used this before, so it'll take me about eight minutes to get it. Uh, but uh, that's all you really need to do. Um, and then you can go into your template and start sharing all the data goodness that came from it. So I hope this helps. Uh, it is really, really easy. Send us any questions if you want different metrics or different KPIs or if you have any other uh, questions about how to use this template. I hope you have a great one. Bye, guys.